Okay, let's talk about um, Access Database, and we'll talk in this video about tables. So the first thing um, we see, I've opened Access, and I can either create a blank database here, and I have to give it a name over here in the name area, and I have to say where to save it. Otherwise, it'll save it on my hard drive. And if I want to save it on a flash drive, I need to make sure that I change this to um, a flash drive somewhere in my computer. But I'm just going to save it to my hard drive because I'm in my office. And I'll give it a name. We'll call this, um, let's call it Video One Practice. And create. Now, when I have a blank database, you can see that Access, the first thing it does is give me a table. Now the table doesn't have a name, and I can see it over here under the objects. And this is a shutter bar, and when I put my cursor over there it says shutter bar open close button. So I can close it, open it, close it, open it. For this, uh, I'll leave this open for a minute. Alright, so here we are in table one. And we don't have anything yet, we have just these two, we actually only have one field. And the when I click on it, my table tools pop up the two um, toolbars that belong with the tables. And if I double click in here, I can change the name of this ID to, um, I don't know, let's call it a pet uh, ID. Now the one thing that um, they've done in the newer versions of Access where this table is started for you is that this primary key is an auto number. You can see it up here on the right under the data type of auto number, which means it will automatically say one, two, three, four as you enter more and more records. Record one, record two, record three. I don't like to use auto number very much, so I'm going to change this in a minute. But I'm going to, I've, I've typed pet ID here and my cursor's blinking, so I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard and it goes to the next field and it asks me what kind of data type exactly that was up here. What kind of data do I want? Now for the most part in tables, uh, in our basic tables that we're building, we're going to use text, perhaps currency or date and time, but I'm going to say text and let's call this um, pet name and this next one is text also and this will be um, address and then we'll have um, so the address is the street address then we have the city and then we have the whoops that was wrong um, well okay I'm gonna have to change that I clicked the wrong thing city state and uh, zip zip code and maybe here we'll have this will be a number and we'll say this is the age all right, so now you can see um, it says new, and I, in fact, I can't type in here. It's yelling at me, ding, ding, don't do that. So I'm going to hit over here, and I'll say Fido, and he lives on Main Street in Vancouver, Washington. Ah, so remember I made this a number field, and it's not right because this is text. So let's see if I can change this to text. There we go, Washington. So you can see I can change my data type up here once I've given it uh, 661. Now, zip code is a number, but I used a text data type because we are never going to do math with these numbers. So if numbers are used as a text identifier or holder or something like that. If it's a number you're never going to do math on, it is always best to leave it as text. And let's say this dog is two years old. All right, so here's my first record. And you can see I'm still in this record because I've got the pencil right there. And when I click down here, I go tab. This was the last field. I was in here under age. And it says click to add, but there's no field there. So when I hit the tab key, it goes down to the next one. Now, why it's starting off at three, I'm not quite sure. Let me type um, bunny in here. So you can see it made it four. 
I don't know what happened to one and two, but I really don't want this, this to be um, an auto number. So I'm gonna change it to text. And look, the, cur the, um, the numbers have switched to being right aligned because text is right aligned and numbers, I'm sorry, left aligned, from right to left. Text is left aligned and numbers are right aligned. And let's say this, um, uh, let's say his ID is 346F or 46F and this one can be 47B for bunny. And I can continue to add records and continue to add records. So this is the new way to create tables. Now I'm going to get out of this. I, I've got my pencil on. I can hit the escape key to stop from this record. And when I go from, oh, what happened to 47B? We'll do it as that. Um, when I go from this line to this line and there's no more pencil, it automatically saves that record. So these records are saved. And in fact, if I close the table, it won't ask me if I want to save the information. It'll ask me to name the table because the table has so na no name yet. It's called table one. So let's close this and name the table. And it says, do you want to save the design of the table? And the design is the size and the names and that kind of stuff. Yes, I want to save the design of the table. I'm going to call this um, the pet table. I'll just say pet. All right, so here I have a pet table. And when I open it up, I can, just like in Excel, I can double click between the column headings and best fit them. Whoops, 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 okay. And, or I could highlight all of the columns and best fit them all. Whoops, let me do it this way and do them all at once. Well, the only one that wasn't best fit was the age category. So now I'm going to type in an address here, um, Elm and uh, Vancouver and Washington, 98663. Oops, three. And Bunny is five. Um, and now I go down. Now Bunny's information is automatically saved. And when I close this table, it asks me if I want to save the design changes, which is the, column, the columns that I squished down, the, the, the look of it. Do you want to save the changes to the layout of the table? Okay, yes. And let me change Fido to um, Benji. Now I haven't changed anything in the table. I changed Benji, but when I went from Benji to Bunny, it, um, it automatically saved that information that Fido is now Benji. So when I close this, it doesn't ask me to save it. It automatically got saved. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So we are in data sheet view and not design view. So let's look at design view. In Design View, our field names go from top to bottom, right? And our data type here is that list of data type that we had on the front, auto number, uh, currency, text, number. It's in a little bit uh, different, um, uh, what do I say, list, but it's our data type. So Microsoft tried to make it easier to design a table in Data Sheet View instead of Design View. It used to be that we did everything in Design View, and then we went to Data Sheet View to add the information. So they've tried to make it easier. I'm going to go to my fields thing here. And so here's my list of data types. You can see that not all of them are here. There's more choices in Design View. But the one thing we didn't do out here is we didn't change the field size. Now, I did on this one, uh, and it shouldn't have been. I paused the recording for a minute and I thought I unpaused it and I was doing stuff and I hadn't unpaused it so you didn't see the, the rest of the things that I did in here. All right, so let me make this Benji again and then Bunny again. And so here my um, primary key field, we'll talk about primary keys in class. The primary key field is this first field and if I don't change this field size from 255, someone can actually type up to 255 characters in here. 
Well, I don't want someone to be able to do that. So I'm going to 46. Uh, it was Fido, wasn't it, F, even though we've changed it to Benji. So if this primary key field is only ever going to be 3, I'm going to change it to 3. Yes, it, so what this is saying is you're going from 255 down to 3. If there's something on there that's more than 3, it will be truncated or you'll lose it. You say, yes, I know. And so that's what happens. It keeps changing this one. Why? Text. Um, I'm somehow doing this wrong. Yes, I know. Not this one. This one should be, let's make it a pet name. Let's make it 15 maximum. So again, I'll type Benny and Bunny. So we need to <laughs> do this beforehand. Um, we'll leave this at perhaps 25. Yes, I know, I'm shrinking it. The city of Vancouver. Cities, are city names ever more than 25, right? And so instead of always getting this what and yes, what, yes, we can do this in design view. So you can see the pet ID in the text, pet name and text, and here's my field size down here. So I've changed those field sizes. The field size I didn't change here was the state yet, and that is two. And here is our zip code, and we're gonna use a five digit zip code, so I'm gonna leave it as that. And the number we don't have to change. At this point, when I go back to data sheet view, I'll just get the message once you know, some data may be lost. You're going from a big number to a small number and you say, yes, I know. So now all of them are changed and I only had to do that that one time. Okay, so that's about enough for tables. You need to go and create other tables. I'm gonna close this and you can create another table the exact same way. Double click up in the field heading, um, type the name, hit the tab key, choose your data type, um, address, choose something else, tab, number, um, pay scale, something like that, tab, currency, um, year to date, pay. So in this field, um, in currency field, I made it currency, if I type 15 dot or 15 point and hit the tab key, you can see that it gives me a dollar sign and two decimal places. All right, I'm not going to save this table. No. All right, so I have the pet table. So you need to go practice creating tables. Have fun.